It's the 2nd of April. Um, I'm doing a little experiment today with my new uh, bee bed uh, boxes which I've uh, been putting up this season. Um, I'm slowly replacing my drill blocks because they're they're less easy to manage. It takes a lot, lot more time to to paper up and uh, clean out the drill blocks than it does to do um, sort of things that have uh, router wood that's been routed so uh, I'm sort of trying to advance a bit and be more efficient with my beekeeping. So the experiment I wanted to do was um, it's very simple I was trying to make up these holes and you can see I'm trying to make it so that these bee beds have uh, pillows as a <laughs> strange way of putting it but they, they've got endings that the bees can start straight away to stock their pollen and their nectar to um, to make it perfectly uh, easy for them and of course I made some mistakes and so some of these I just didn't make it to the end properly and I messed up the holes so these are open so what I'm doing here these are my sort of seconds the ones I didn't do so well this is one I've managed to do perfectly so what I'm doing is um, I'm making a little challenge here I've got I'll take you over to where where my bees are working So if you look up there, I've got in the middle, I've got a bee box that's, um, that's uh, very successfully filled up, lots of bees in it. So you can see this one has been really taken up well. We've got six already filled and here we go, we've got bees finishing off the, the holes there. So as most of the tunnels are being worked on, I want to put two more either side and see which ones they choose, whether they're going to choose the ones with the uh, rounded holes or whether they're going to choose the ones with the open holes um, which will kind of tell me what I'm going to do for the uh, the next ones, whether I go for the easy option of just making them open hole or whether I have to uh, work with the, the preference for ended um, rounded uh, tunnels for them. So let's just have a quick assembly of the big box. So here's a little system. I've been making these from I see ends of uh, wood that I found and old pine planks. So here's my this is my filled holes. You can see there's occasional mistake there as well. So I've got seven of these bee beds which are round-ended holes. Okay, all seven of them, which I'll put inside, and that will go to the left. And on the other side, you can see my open-ended ones that are going to go in the open-ended trays. So I'll just finish it, assembling them, and we'll put them up, and that will be the end of the video. But I'll have a follow-up on the uh, on the results as soon as they come in. Okay, so excuse me while I fix these properly. So this is the end of holes coming in, and I've got this little system where I wedge at the bottom the wood. So make sure that everything's locked in and it won't move. Let's see if it doesn't once it's up there it won't move. Okay. So that's that one done. And now I've finished the, the other one. This one's a bit tighter so Cheat a little bit here and hammer it in. And the reason we need it so tight is just so that the there's no holes for the parasitic wasps to get into. So hold on, a bit of drill noise. Oops, lost the camera. Okay, so both of these prepared. So I'm going to put these two, which are, as you can see, virtually identical. 
either side of the the one that's being finished and I'll, I'll have a little check every few days to see how the bees are choosing huh? the difference is perhaps that and that ok here we go It's all one sequence, so excuse the bad camera work. Here we go. Well, these are some of my reed um, boxes as well. So, number one is in place. That's the one with the, the closed holes, B beds, and I'm going to put the other one. Do it. See the small drill blocks. There you go. That's for the. Oop. Mine is the same one. It's leaning a little bit. I'll make the other one lean as well. Okay. So there we are in place. The two choices. They're either going to have open end on the right, or they're going to have rounded end. And. Uh, this is it, it's now 10 to 4 on April the 2nd, 2012 and uh, the little rough experiment is going to start.